Good evening everyone, I'm Dale Lantor and in this video we will be exploring the Kerbal Space Program. It's a game set in a single player universe, a persistent sandbox environment, where you build your ships and sacrifice Kerbins in order to achieve your space goals. Uh, in this footage you are currently seeing me lifting a module I created, created and it's supposed to be a rescue module for my space station. Now I'm using a staged rocket setup where I'm using solid fuel to boost as a rocket boosters and then jettisoning the boosters as I go. In time I'm losing weight or mass and bringing my creations into the orbit. Now uh, one thing I like about this game is that the fact that it leaves so much room for cre creativity and you can actually like lose hour, hours or even days of work for a mistake that you just made <laughs> uh, like oh crap I approached so fast to my station I crashed into it anyhow yeah as an example this is from the time that I damaged my space station and <laughs> as you can see parts flowing around I later on replace it with another station and here I am actually bringing my first moon base into in for a landing it serves as a staging point for the rest of the crafts that I later on bring into the moon and the game is entirely governed by Newtonian physics I would say game tries to do, achieve that goal but there are some aspects that are not relatively realistic but still it's in the boundaries so uh, for instance in this small moon base I have a ton of uh, batteries and solar panels so that I can charge up the electrical vehicles that I later on bring this is just as a base of operations it has enough place for I if I recall correctly ten curbins and I can get out and just run around and jump around. Yeah and uh, apart from that and what you're seeing there is my one of my I think generation two space station and I'm bringing more crew to that station right now. Uh, some of my crafts are capable of going up into the atmosphere, the atmosphere to the orbit and then coming back down. Right now I'm trying to dock at the station. It's always good to have a like, dock with the station and attach your ship before you start moving stuff. You can also transfer fuel once you are docked taking quite a bit of adjusting I didn't have my uh, ship design properly done so whenever I made a move I, it kind of flipped the sh ship around also as you can see I need to be I need more practice with it as far as ship design goes also and we have a lock yep yeah, and I later on changed this station with a newer generation as games game gets updated I replaced the uh, old stations with the new ones and for the old stations I just send them back through the atmosphere <laughs> this is a demonstration of how it enters the atmosphere and then crashes into the sea right now with the newest update actually you can Sur uh, if your carbons survive you can collect them 
but at that when I was taking this video the currents were not really easy to extract so I was just like oh the hell with it he dies uh, currently my game style is that basically I build massive stations I mean as far as keeping the game unlaggy and the wrecks also have their collision physics well, I will be making more videos uh, to that time I hope you enjoyed this one and see you on the next one